If your home is insured by Citizens Property Insurance, you may have received a letter in the mail asking for some information. Well, we're on your side with Brittany Ricci, the president of Ricci Insurance Group, to talk about the letter and what homeowners should do. So welcome back, Whitney, great to see Thank you. Thank you so much, I'm glad to be here. Oh, let's break down this letter. Mm -hmm. What is it? Because, you know, sometimes you get things in the mail, you're like, first of all, is this legit? Right. Do I need to respond to this? Mm -hmm. Do I even really need to open it? So mm -hmm. break it down. What is this letter and why was it sent out? Yes, this recent correspondence is being sent to some citizens policyholders as a result of the changing in their premium rating structure, specifically about primary homes and non-primary homes. Okay. So it is legitimate. You do want to look for that in the mail. <laughs> okay, so what kind of documentation then are they requesting? Yes, the correspondence, they're asking some um, citizens policyholders to sign an affidavit that says that this is a primary residence okay. and provide, it's a pretty long list, but some of the items include, for example, um, vehicle registration, utility bill, copy of a driver's license, or if the person who lives there is their primary resident is a tenant, then mm. a copy of the lease. Okay, uh, so why are they asking for all of this like suddenly? It might, mm -hmm. might seem kind of sudden to some people, yes, right? Yes, So Citizens Property Insurance is the government program. It was designed to be the insurer of last resort when Florida homeowners have no other option for okay. their property insurance. Well, due to some of the challenges in the standard Florida property insurance market over the last couple of years, all of a sudden that bucket included a lot of people mm -hmm. and it's gotten too big. Now Citizens is actually the biggest property insurance carrier in Florida. Oh, wow. So the state's stance is this program really should be for people who are living there as their primary residence and not for those folks where it's a second home or otherwise. Okay, and, mm -hmm. and the increase has gone up what oh, yeah, percentage wise? So the early projections, they're looking at for, for the people that are able to avoid the excessive rate increases is looking at about 10%. Okay. But for those that don't qualify for non-primary residence homes, it's looking upwards of about 42%. Really? Yes, okay. it's a big one. So what do policyholders need to do then? Yeah, so first thing, you nailed it, look at the mail. <laughs> look at the mail, get the letter. Don't throw it away. Don't throw it away. <laughs> Reach out promptly to your insurance agent because if you do qualify under their definition of a primary residence, which is nine months or more out of the year occupied by the homeowner or their tenant as their primary residence, okay. um, then you can sign this affidavit and you can provide this, um, this additional information and avoid the rate increase. It's also a good time, whether it's a primary residence or not, mm -hmm. as we're coming out of hurricane season, to communicate with your agent to see if there are maybe any other options in the standard market that you could consider at this time. Oh, okay, so mm -hmm. there are options. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and, and this is another little little trick. Once we come out of hurricane season, underwriters tend to open up a little bit more capacity. Okay. So it may be if you bought your home in July right. when the market was really, really tough, that citizens was the only option, but maybe if you're looking now, there could be some other options. And I really would encourage folks that have renewal dates during hurricane season mm -hmm. to not wait to look at this till next year um, because of underwriter and carrier capacity, but also because you may need to do some updates or some repairs in order to be eligible for a new policy and the more time you have on your side, yeah. the better. But I did. <laughs> right, well, thank you so much for being yeah. on our side yeah, and so that bet. we could be on our viewers' side because, yeah, yeah this pleasure. can be sometimes confusing information. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people, you know, we tell you, hey, you know, if, they're, if people are asking for certain information, you don't want to give that up. Right. But in this case, it's legit. It is legit. And it could be beneficial. Yes, so. and your agent should always be your ally and your resource. If you ever have any questions, reach out to them directly. Um, if for some reason you don't have an agent, my team would be glad to assist you. As well. All right, Whitney, thank you so much for helping us out with that today and be sure to watch home connect tv on seven days a week with hundreds of homes for sale on the first coast